everybody. East Coast Pete here asking who named that band Hootie and the Blowfish. They're an American rock band from Columbia, South Carolina in 1986. Darius Rucker, Mark Ryan, Dean Felbert, and Jim Sonfeld are the lineup for most of Hootie's existence. Their debut album, Cracked Rear View, in 94 is the 19th best-selling album of all time in the U.S. It is certified platinum 21 times. That's double diamond. The University of South Carolina, Brian, a guitar player, heard Rucker singing in the showers of the dormitory they shared. Brian was impressed, suggested they play covers. They called themselves the Wolf Brothers. Dean Felber came in on bass and Brantley Smith would play drums. They became Hootie and the Blowfish in 86. The name is a conjunction of the two nicknames of college friends. After graduation, Smith was replaced by Jim Sungfeld. Kind of wondering what, which one of their friends was Hootie and which one was Blowfish. They signed with Atlantic, who took a chance as Hootie and the Blowfish had no grunge cred. Kind of the right choice, huh? People were ready for something new and grunge. Messiah Kurt Cobain was recently deceased. Right place, right time, Hootsters. In one of the songs, Only Wanna Be With You, there are references to Bob Dylan and some quotes from Dylan's song, Idiot Wind. When the song became a hit, Dylan's management objected. And Dylan received a large out-of-court settlement in 1995. Idiot Wind. I know people who love Idiot Wind. I know people who do not. Second album, Fairweather Johnson, released in 96. It contained the single Old Man and Me, went to 13 in the US, and the second single, Tucker's Town, went to 38. Here's other albums, uh, Three Musical Chairs, Hoodie and the Blowfish, Looking for Lucky, Scattered, Smothered, and Covered. This title refers to a menu item on a Waffle House restaurant menu. It refers to hash brown smothered with diced onions and covered with melted cheese. This is an album of B-sides and rarities. And Waffle House is awesome. And they stay open all night. In 2008, Hootie wanted to try a country music career. I know it's not Hootie. Rucker wanted to try a country music career, so the Blowfish were put on hiatus. He had success with four albums. So, yeah, I know who he's not his name, so stop typing. They got back together for a one-off performance as a run-up to Dave Letterman's retirement from The Late Show in 2015. That same year, Rucker announced that the band was working on some new songs. On December 3rd, 2018, the band announced a 44-city group therapy tour with Bare Naked Ladies. It was 25 years since Cracked Rear View was released. The album Imperfect Circle was released November 1st, 2019, just a little while ago. Their charity work is notable. Katrina Relief, USO, Animal Rights, Artists Against Racism, and Rucker is not Hootie, BTW. And that's all I have on Hootie and the Blowfish, so thank you for being with me on Who Named That Band. Well, apparently they named themselves. See you next time.